Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to uh, cover something on my channel about uh, social media censorship, which I think is BS. And uh, social network needs to be uh, broken up as a private organization. It needs to be broken up, turned into a public utilities with the uh, First Amendment protections put in place because uh, this deplatforming and uh, banning people and throwing them in Facebook jail is uh, in, in my opinion unconstitutional and uh, I'm gonna play it. I'm uh, using OBS here I'm uh, doing a little experiment and uh, I'm going to bring up a news clip where the uh, media was actually uh, not giving softball questions to the uh, press secretary at the White House, which is a breath of fresh air. Because for so long they've been uh, throwing softball questions. <clears throat> And uh, this is nice. So uh, I'm going to play it through. Let you guys hear it. Go ahead. Uh, thanks, Jane. First on COVID origin, is the White House worried that China continues stonewalling the World Health Organization investigators and now is saying things like they think maybe COVID-19 got into China through frozen food? We are certainly remain, or continue to be concerned, Peter, about uh, misinformation coming from uh, voices in China about certainly the origins, uh, their lack of participation in the process, their lack of willingness to provide data and information to the World Health Organization. As you know, we are undergoing our own uh, process here, our 90-day review here, uh, but certainly uh, the Chinese providing information, being a, a, a participant in the process, would aid, aid the effort. And then speak. Yeah, I want to chime in on this one. Um, for uh, since the coronavirus began, if anybody uh, even uh, skated on the idea of posting something about uh, the uh, virus leak coming out of China, they got banned or uh, thrown in Facebook jail or suspended on Twitter or Bain. And here recently that uh, even the, I think the president is uh, acknowledging that the, the leak theory, the lab leak theory could be true. We can finally post about it on uh, social media and uh, our YouTube channels. That's another thing, our YouTube channels, videos being taken down, channels deplatformed, taken down over uh, speaking about this kind of stuff and our government should and our government shouldn't be uh, in meetings with Mark, Zuck Mark Zuckerberg and other social media platform owners <clears throat> um, encouraging them to uh, continue censorship continue. Speaking of misinformation and the announcement from yesterday, for how long has the administration been spying on people's Facebook profiles looking for vaccine misinformation? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. At the behest of the government, Mark Zuckerberg, Twitter, not the Facebook, not Twitter, but uh, Tell them to pretty, pretty much uh, censor people at the behest of the government. Sounds like uh, fascism to me. Well, that was quite a loaded and inaccurate question, um, which I would refute. Well, Peter, first of all, as you know, we're in, we're in a regular touch with with a range of media outlets. At, as as let me finish. As we are as we are in regular touch with social media platforms. This is publicly. Uh, open information, people sharing information online, just as you are all reporting information on your news stations. But, okay, so these 12 people who you have on a list, 12 individuals, 
do they know that somebody at the Surgeon General's office is going through their profile? I'm happy to get you the citation of where that comes from. There's no secret list. I will tell you that these are people who are sharing information on public platforms on Facebook, information that is traveling, is inaccurate. Our biggest concern here, and I frankly think it should be your biggest concern, is the number of people who are dying around the country because they're getting misinformation. Yeah, people are people died around the country, about 300,000 people, because uh, your savior, Dr. Fauci, at the beginning of this pandemic told people they don't need to wear masks. And, pe and uh, people uh, listen to them. So uh, I think uh, Dr. Fauci needs to be taken down off of Facebook and Twitter. That is leading them to not take a vaccine. Young people, old people, kids, children, this is all being, a lot of them are being impacted by misinformation. I'm all for vaccines, but if they're being lied to about wearing masks, um, there might be a little uh, skating around the truth during about the vaccines. And uh, th this is how not to uh, gain public trust, is to start out by lying about the mask, that you don't need to wear them. But in the same breath, tell them to run out and get a vaccine. I'll let you guys lie about the mask. So, how can uh, the general public trust you? The big concern, though, I think for a lot of people on Facebook is that now this is Big Brother watching you. They're more concerned about that than people dying across the country because of a, a pandemic where misinformation is traveling on social media platforms. That feels unlikely to me if you have the data. This information uh, is uh, broadcasted on the news networks each day, which calls thousands of deaths in the world due to wars. So next point. I to back that up. I'm happy okay, to discuss it. About things that are on Facebook. I looked this morning. Uh, there are videos of Dr. Fauci from 2020 before anybody had a vaccine, and he is out there saying there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. So is the administration going to contact Facebook and ask them to take that down? Well, first. I Although that guy's uh, question, spot on, just what I was just saying. I think what Dr. Fauci has said himself, who's been quite public out there, is that science evolves, information evolves, and we make that available in a public way to the American people. Exactly. I, I, I've never seen any data to suggest that, uh, that the vaccines cause infertility. That is information that is irresponsibly traveling. Okay. I I think yeah, I'll back her up on that one. Vaccine doesn't cause infertil infertility. Carry on. About the science evolving, Facebook used to post, I used to block people from posting that COVID may have originated for a lab. That is something this president now admits is a possibility. Yes, I'll back this guy up. Facebook did ban people for about, say, a year for uh, posting about the uh, lab leak in China. So is there any concern that the things you are trying to block or have taken down might someday turn out to be? We don't take anything down. We don't block anything. Through uh, uh, meetings with Zuckerberg, you uh, put the uh, steps in there to uh, encourage him to censor and ban stuff. So in turn, yeah, yes, you are. <clears throat> Facebook and any private sector company makes decisions about what information should be on their platform. Yeah, that's another thing. These uh, social media giants should not be privately owned. They need to be broken up publicly owned with First Amendment protections. Our point is that there is information that is leading to people not taking the vaccine and people are dying as a result. And we have a responsibility as a public health matter to raise that issue. The responsibility we all have. The we had uh, people listening to Dr. Fauci and not wearing masks and getting the coronavirus and dying. So.
your point? Government, media, platforms, public messengers to give accurate information. Go ahead. About the 12 individuals that are on that separate site, it's not from the White House, mm -hmm. not the source in front of me, but we've read it as well. Can you give us a sense of who those individuals are, as was asked before, and what specifically you've, you've given a tough message to the social platforms that they should do more than social media platforms. What from this podium is the message to those individuals, the 12 of them, who are responsible for 65% of the misinformation that's out there? The message is the same message as it is to every person out there who has a platform, whether that is an elected official or that is a person who is a civic leader. Uh, the vaccines are safe. Or a person that's a, that's a uh, high-ranked doctor that tells people not to wear a mask when they should? They are effective. If people take them, they will save their life in many cases. And so our message to everyone who's sharing this information is that you're, the steps you're taking are irresponsible. They could lead to people's... Uh, that goes to you, Dr. Fauci. Uh, people getting very sick and people ultimately losing their lives. Why don't we all participate in a process that will help provide accurate information out there? Is the White House participated in called revamping the media, making it independent. That's the only way we're going to get a uh, true information out there. Any direct contact with these individuals, given the impact they're having through any avenue to try to say, knock it off? No, and I'm happy to get you guys the, the data on where we got that information, uh, where the public, yes, yeah, the publicly available data, we'll get you the citation is what I mean. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. You know, this is a little YouTube channel I got. I think I got maybe 24 subscribers. If I can uh, put up information that would maybe help change minds and enact change in this country. That right now is a shit show. Thanks to both, both Republican and Democratic administrations. I think... Uh, I'm hoping through my little channel I can help persuade change. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, so you get notified when I drop new videos or live stream. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.